In America, 2021 has been the year of the Great Resignation, otherwise known as the Big Quit. Millions of Americans are leaving their jobs, over 4 million every month at the moment. It seems the pandemic has led many to rethink what they need and what they want from a job. Michelle Fleury travelled to Kentucky, where people are quitting at a higher rate than in many other states. Alex Carter hit his breaking point last year. The former bank manager grew tired of dealing with bad behaviour from customers during the pandemic. The attitudes of the people who come in and don't want to follow the rules and want to yell at you about why they don't feel they need to, you can only take so much of that. Alex started looking for a job that wasn't customer facing. That's actually a good note. I'm he got an offer from a local manufacturing company here in Kentucky. What's in the pipeline there? This was absolutely the best career move for me and my family. And Alex isn't alone. In October, more than 4 million Americans quit their jobs, part of a trend economists call the Great Resignation. You know, I couldn't be happier. And it's not just millennials. With how things have worked out for me, I know it's going to work out the same for you. Alex's dad is switching jobs too. I saw how happy Alex was at Stronghold and I uh, told him to keep his eyes open. It has been interesting for us. Mike Clark is an economist at Gatton College of Business and Economics. According to him, the great resignation is also the great rotation as people take advantage of the tight labor market. But it's not simply that people are resigning. You know, when you look at all the data, what we seem to be seeing is that people are turning over. They're going to new jobs. And so it's more of a turnover situation. Josh Hoff quit to start his own business. The former forklift driver recently launching Bourbon City Taxi Service in Bardstown, Kentucky. I look forward to the day versus dreading going into work because I don't consider what I do work. While many people left jobs for more money or more flexibility, Josh's reasons were more personal. We thought my daughter had cancer at one point, um, and I was at work. I couldn't leave. And they were like, oh, well, if you leave, you know, it's going to be a write-up. And at, the, at, at that point, I was just like, you know what? I parked my forklift, got off of it. I said, do what you got to do. Left. And then my grandmother passed, and then my grandfather. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I just didn't get to go to my grandpa's funeral. Surrounded by death and illness during the pandemic, Josh, like many, started to feel that life was passing him by. I mean, how do you feel today? Today, I feel liberated. There's so much more to life than a big house or having that career. As in many cultures in America, a job is more than just a wage. It is a source of self-esteem and status. But the pandemic is altering this country's obsession with work, changing how some people think about life and work and what they want out of both. Michelle Fleury, BBC News, Kentucky.